Hello guys, welcome to Shark Numbers. In today's video, I'm going to show you how the 1000X indicator works. This is a custom made indicator that I developed with a group of professional traders. You can check out the link in the description and you can learn more about the 1000X indicator here. In today's video, I will be using Binance Futures and TradingView. I picked this asset. So basically I took a look at all of these assets and I picked lever USDT pair because there was a major change. The price went up by 16%. So there is a lot of volatility. There is decent liquidity too. And also I noticed that this asset performs really well. I mean, the indicator works really well with lever USDT on 15 minute candles. How I know that I activate 1000X indicator and I take a look at previous at the previous performance of this indicator. And I see that in most cases, the indicator detects cycles correctly. I see it's approximately 80% success rate. And this is what we want to see. The more predictions were made correctly, the better. Look at this beautiful prediction. So basically the indicator detected this bearish zone. So you would make profit here and you would make profit here. Look at this zone. Look at this cycle. Look at this cycle. So in most cases, the indicator works well. And if you set up your stop losses, if you just follow what the indicator tells you, you will be profitable. Three out of four trades should be successful. So based on what I'm seeing right now, this bullish cycle is almost over and I'm going to go short with this asset once this green zone ends, you know? So basically what I'm waiting for right now is I'm waiting for this green bullish cycle to be over and turn into one of these red cycles. So once this asset enters the red zone, I'm going to go short. There are a couple of ways you can use the indicator. You can wait until the zone switches and then go long once the zone switches, or you can basically exit out your position at one of the major FIB levels. And this is something I will likely do. So if the red zone begins around here, then I will probably exit out my position here. So it'll be about 3% if I use 10x multiplier, if I trade a 10x or 20x, well, it'll be like 30 to 60% in gains which is good enough for me. But let's say if the indicator does not show me the red zone until let's say the price goes all the way down to 0.6 level, then my entry point will be here and my exit point will be at this FIB level 0.5. You can come up with your own unique entry points and exit points. The point is this indicator helps you detect which direction the market is moving. If it's bearish or bullish, if the cycle is green or red. I hope it makes sense. I'm going to wait for a little longer and I will show you how I use the 1000X indicator. I'm waiting for the red zone to open my short position. So again, I'll be making money by betting that the market is going to go down. And once again, if you want to learn more about Binance Futures, if you don't know how to use Binance Futures, check out one of my previous videos where I explain specifically how to go long and how to go short, how to trade with a multiplier, how to create stop limit and stop market orders. It's all in one of my previous videos. Also, for those of you who do not have accounts on Binance, feel free to use my referral code to get cash back. And just in general, there are a bunch of deals. You can see all relevant links in the description. Before I jump into action, I want to outline a couple of things. So this is what I'm going to be doing. Once this asset enters the red zone, I'm quickly going to use have my available balance, which is 65 USDT to open a short position because I want to open my position quickly. I am going to use this market option and 
all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on open short. By the way, your interface might look slightly different. If you want to replicate this exact interface, make sure you enable the hedge mode. I use this hedge mode simply because sometimes for some of my strategies, I like to be able to go long and short at the same time. By default, Binance Futures allows you to open either a short position or a long position. And if you, let's say, have a long position open, and you try to open a short position, it'll automatically close your long position. I want to be able to choose which direction I want to trade and I want to be able to open both long and short positions at the same time. I hope it makes sense. So it doesn't really matter if you choose one way mode or hedge mode. If you want to follow my steps precisely and replicate this exact interface, make sure that the hedge mode is activated. All right, so I'm basically ready to open a short position as soon as lever enters the red zone i'm going to wait and wait and jump straight into action once i'm in the red zone all right guys we're almost in the red zone and before i place my order i want to switch my perpetual margin mode from cross to isolated it's because i don't want to risk more than 30 usdt on this trade cross means that if let's say the market moves the opposite direction my position is not going to be liquidated right away the available balance will be used as a backup i don't want to use the entire amount so i'm switching cross to isolated and i'm doing it specifically to show you how this isolated mode works because in my previous videos i would always use cross so in this video i'll show you that isolated is applicable for some cases and let's say if you don't want to risk more than a certain amount of money allocated towards specific position specific trade then switch cross to isolated isolated is one of the options that i use often i mostly use cross but sometimes i use isolated and so in this video i'll show you how to do so all right guys i'm going to open my short position right away because if you noticed we just entered the red zone. So I click on market, I choose 50% and I click open short. I'm using the 20X multiplier. Let's see how it's gonna work. I'm pretty confident that this trade is going to be successful because I know how this indicator works and I know what happens with volatile assets. I am going to, for the sake of this tutorial, to be able to record it quickly, I'm going to pick my exit point. And I mentioned earlier that I will exit my position at FIB level 0.618 if the red zone happens right away. So we are in the red zone right now, which means, you know, this is a perfect exit point. I'll lift it up just a little bit higher so I have more confidence. All right, so my gain should be around 3%. 3.49%. I'll make it 3% so that I don't have to wait for too long. So this will be my exit point for the position 0.002965. My profit will be 17 USDT. Once again, I'm only using 30 USDT and I will make 17 USDT in profit if my trade is successful. Stop loss. Let's see. I'll place my stop loss right above this level of resistance. So this will be my stop loss 31740. I don't think I will hit stop loss, but I'm going to pick it anyway. Mark. All right, it says the trigger price should be smaller than liquidation price. You know what? I'm not going to set this up because my position is going to be liquidated even before the stop loss is reached. So I don't really care. I'm using the isolated mode, so I don't care. I don't need to set up the stop loss. In one of my previous videos, actually it was in the video where in my Binance Futures tutorial, I explained the difference between mark and last because I am going to close this position as a market order. I'll probably choose the mark option just because I don't want too much volatility when I close my position. I don't want 
the price to change abruptly and make a big difference so i'm going to choose the mark option and stop loss i don't set up stop loss my position will be liquidated if this trade doesn't work so i'll click on confirm and that's it let's wait and see if my position my trade is going to be executed successfully one remark i want you to kind of understand the logic behind my setup so although i'm planning to exit out my position around this level and it's fib level 0.618 i will have to close my position earlier if this red zone switches back to the green zone that means something is off you know the market reverses i trust this indicator in most cases it detects everything precisely so let's say if we enter this red zone and do not reach this price let's say the price goes down to this level and then reverses and we are in the green zone again i will have to close my position earlier before reaching this fib level 0.618 also uh, my strategy would have probably been slightly different if i did not have to record this video i wouldn't set up this exit point i would wait for probably longer i would wait until this red zone is over and then we're in the green zone again and by after entering the green zone i would close my position but for the sake of this tutorial and because i want to execute my trade quickly i decided to make this my exit point I hope it makes sense and you don't have to use this Fibonacci retracement tool I only did it so that I can see which Fib level I'll be able to reach first and it looks like this Fib level is very popular and a lot of people place their orders around this level so because I want to have a successful trade and execute it quickly and show you how the indicator works quickly you know I used Fib retracement tool but it's not necessarily it's not important if you use this indicator just by using in the indicator you are able to detect bullish and bearish zones and for beginners it's more than enough of course if you want to customize your strategy use additional tools you're more than welcome to do it but i just want to show you how this indicator works and it works in most cases all right guys uh, you can see my pnl everything is happening the way i predicted simply because i i'm using this indicator all the time and i know that it works 80 percent of the time with the majority of assets there could be discrepancies with assets that are newly listed assets that are heavily manipulated by market makers market manipulators but it works perfectly with the majority of all assets even something like lever so you can see that we almost there we're now at plus 14 usdt and let's just wait and see when this position is going to close once again i'm using market which means my position is not going to close well don't confuse it with market right so there is a market order that we can place and also mark versus last mark is a market option which means we are paying attention to the average of all exchanges not to binance futures specifically so there will be a slight delay you'll see us hitting this line but the position will still be open for a couple of seconds in any case we're almost there i want to show you how this position is going to close and I will briefly mention a couple of things related to the indicator. We are in a pretty solid bearish cycle, so I'm pretty sure that the price of the asset is going to go down and then it'll reverse and go upward again. So it'll be forming a form of triangle right now. But I want you to see specifically how my position is going to close successfully with no issues and how this indicator manages to predict cycles. All you have to do is to practice a couple of times, find assets that work well with this indicator. Again, usually these are assets that are not heavily manipulated by market makers, market manipulators. Assets with high volatility and decent liquidity. I mean, liquidity doesn't really matter if you work with small amounts, but if you're planning to use 10 K plus, you'll need to find liquidity of at least 65 plus million. It'll just be extremely difficult for you to work with large amounts. All right, we're almost there. I'll show you what my PNL looks like plus 13 USDT. My profit is supposed to be around 17 USDT and we're almost there. Just a couple more minutes and we'll hit this exit point. Yeah, you see, because I'm using the mark option, it's still 
not closed yet, but it will close. It'll close and it will use the best price on the market. Here we can see that the price reached this green line. Let's see. Boom. Market buy order filled. All right, guys. So I just showed you how the 1000 indicator works. I made $17 in less than 30 minutes by using the indicator and I wasn't even using it to the best of my abilities. This video was done quickly for the purposes of making a tutorial and explaining how much of a jam this indicator is. You can find the link in the description, but I'll tell you what, right now I'm selling this indicator a lifetime license for only $70 and a lot of you know that the price of this indicator is a lot higher. I will increase the price after every 10 purchases of the license and continue this pattern for subsequent increments for each successive set of 10 purchases. So if you see the price is higher than 70 bucks, it means that 10 people purchased it. So I'll probably increase it to like $80. And after 10 more purchases, it'll be, I don't know, $100. I don't know yet, but I'll be gradually increasing the price. So if you want to get a lifetime license, once again, I used to sell it on a subscription basis now I'm selling a lifetime license if you want to get that one head to sharknumbers.com click on 1000x indicator and complete your purchase I hope you found this video tutorial to be useful if so you know what to do you know how to show your support also if you have questions to ask feel free to ask them I enjoy communicating with you guys leave your comments in the comment section I'm done for now I'll talk to you soon Ivan KV out mm -hmm.